I feel like Dak does a great job with his eyes. I mean, the power of the eyes. He moves defenders uh, in that zone coverage. Obviously, you know, with Zeke uh, uh, right there, it, it's going to be a test as Philly eventually bringing those safeties down. He, like you talk about those two high safeties, you know, last week uh, teams were playing the one high safety. Eventually, if they're pounding the run, is Philly going to get tired of getting the um, uh, run on and bring that safety down? That'll be interesting to see as the game progresses. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they will. I think they're you know, they're, check down. they're a too high team and they're going to stay in it. And they play different versions of it. Paid. They play a lot of cover two, but they also play some quarters and quarter quarter half and half quarters of different sides. It's all different versions. And 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 then what that is is kind of. Paid. Go ahead, you tell them. Yeah, tell you know them what, what that is. I have no idea. Yeah, quarters is obviously the, yeah, the cornerback has that you know, quarter of the field. The safety has that quarter, and the other side it might be the half. The safety's got that half, and so that other corner would have the flat. So they do different versions, and the reason that's, that's hard as a quarterback, you know, it's hard to get a rhythm of what exactly they're doing. Certain plays that are good versus quarters aren't good versus cover two. So you have to have a, you know, your passing game's got to be really sharp and you can get into some bad plays. That's the best play versus all those defenses. All those defenses you said, it's, look at those safeties. They are deep, right? Pound the ball, run the ball, just like last week, like Green Bay. Don't, don't get bored with these runs. You know, Zeke Pollard's going to come in and spell Zeke here in a minute. Um, that's the game plan tonight for Dallas if Philly keeps doing that. Let's go back to that interception, kind of show you what happened here. You know, I mean, on the, on the uh, touchdown, uh, not, I guess it was a fumble. But right here, you see C.D. Lamb, he's got a little option route. He's on a linebacker you like. He kind of slips, and he just takes a little bit too long, right? right? You don't need all this chatter. You're backed up in your end zone. You want that ball well, coming out. You can see Dax kind of waiting on him. He could have broke out down. or broken in, and he breaks in. He eventually wins, but it just took too long right there. It's just... You got to know that situation right there. If you're at the 50-yard line, you can do some things. And, but you're back in the end zone. Receivers, you got to know, hey, I got to get open quickly right here and can't be waiting a whole, uh, you know, real long time. Looks like Dak does. They do some check with me, he's paid, or some, you know, maybe some freeze plays. You, call, you know, we kind of call freeze plays. Like you get up there with no, with no play, and he's just going to get into the best play. Um, and this guy's running good, Pollard, right? He had over 100 yards last week. It's a great one-two punch with he and Zeke, but he seems to kind of have a little burst and is, is really running the ball well and, and hitting some big gains. Eli, I think the fact that Dak's been in the same system with Kellen Moore for such a long time, Mike McCarthy kept Kellen Moore as the coordinator. That was a big step, right? Uh, that allows Prescott to play in rhythm, doesn't have to learn a new system. I think it's hard to learn a new system as a quarterback, right? Defense. It's the best way to screw up a young quarterback. So I give McCarthy foul. a lot of credit for keeping Kellen Moore as the coordinator. That's why Dak's able to play so fast. That's how he's able to be in control. Well, they, they're using the same terminology he's had his whole, his whole career, Pate. You know, that same, same, term, in, same terminology. Got the Cowboys terminology. Yeah, Mike McCarthy actually learned Kellen Moore's system. Uh, 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 that's not normal. Most head coaches that are offensive guys come in, they bring their own system. Everybody has to learn the new verbiage. Kellen Moore, it was his system because Mike McCarthy wanted Dak to play fast and not have to learn a new system. Hey, Eli, a lot of feedback that you and I joke too much, right? I mean, I didn't know you were funny, so it must be talking about me. That's why we have Nick Saban on as a guest here shortly, though, so for no jokes. <laughs> no jokes to Saban, all business. Yeah, break down that go. play, Pate. What do we got here? Let's take a look the at the touchdown, right? It's, it's, it's covered two over here, right? This safety is deep. This corner has the flat, right? So there's that switch release you talk about. The post on the outside by Cooper, Schultz on the tight end here. That corner doesn't get a jam on the receiver because of the switch release. So he really should jam the tight end. Pollard goes in the flat. The corner sucks up on Pollard. There's nobody there for Schultz. So that corner should have gotten a jam on the switch release on the tight end instead of the receiver. You got that, Eli? You write that down? I got it. I, I wrote it all down. I learned a lot. So that's kind of one of those coverages. They mix up. It's, it was covered two to one side, cover 
four or quarters to the other side and yeah just not you know they're usually pretty sound and don't give up uh, you know big big completions easy plays but you know Dallas is running some good schemes doing some different things and, and hitting a couple shots down the field on them right now. now anytime you're playing any type of two deep safety those corners have got to jam those receivers reroute them get them off their mark if they switch release jam the guy that's coming out to you wow that didn't work this Cowboys defense they'd always kind of describe them as like a, a Rolodex defense they do a lot of different things they play uh, you know different blitzes different all sorts of different zones they play man they play every type of coverage and it's uh, what they do it creates a lot of interceptions they get a lot of big plays off of it but they also give up a lot of big plays they give up chunk plays and kind of just like that first play you know giving up a 40-yard gain on, on first down hit it oh, interception do it under through him. Just under through it, under through it there. They, they did, I they love did that shot. They I did I that last week. Throw. You just under yeah, threw, threw, threw him. They threw a lot of go routes on the outside. Last week they hit one of them, missed a lot of them, but that one's just an under, under thrown ball right there. Hey, LeBron, does anybody play zone in the NBA anymore? Is it all man? No, yeah, absolutely. A lot of teams play zone in the NBA for sure, you know, and uh, try to force you to, you know, do something that you don't like to do, but. You know, if you if you got the right calls, you know, they always say, you know, uh, you know, best offense is always going to beat the best defense. So it's all about execution. What would you rather see, zone or man to man? I'd rather see man to man because the quarterback can make decisions quicker. The read is quicker. Uh, uh, you know who you're going to zone. You're having to look at the defender. It makes you hold the ball. It makes you hesitate. What would you rather see in basketball? No. No, you're absolutely right, Payne. Uh, Pay, no, I would definitely always like to see, you know, man to man, because you know exactly, you know, how the defense is playing it. Um, you know, if there's a guy standing right over top of you, know, you're in the man. Uh, but you know, in the zone, it's like guys are covering their area, so you kind of have to like read it a little bit more. You're able to be a lot, a lot more decisive uh, against man to man. Yeah, the key for Philly playing all this zone is that pass rush has got to get home. They got to get there to put pressure on Zach, to try to make quick decisions and throw it to guys that he doesn't want to throw to, kind of like the turnover early. Now, now you're in a great position, third and goal for the LeBron, two. All right, LeBron, what do you like? What's your call here? Run it, you know, throw it, they're playing zone. Yeah, I, I think you go right back to the run. Go right back to the run. Yes. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Touchdown. Touchdown. LeBron is much better about. at predicting plays than you, Peyton. You got to come <laughs> on here more often. <laughs> there's your there's your there's your owner that was your owner right there yeah. all right LeBron, there he is there break he is it down break it down here pal what are they doing break here? this replay down here oh i mean they went back to the same call that they did on second down they you know they see the linebackers is back you only got three deepest alignments so they feel like you know a nice draw call uh you know and with the way zeke is playing right now he's getting to that second level pretty fast so no, great, great call. Great call by uh, McCarthy and that uh, office, uh, office coordinator. Yeah, I think they know they kind of he missed it. Oh, missed we had a little, got a little shank. Point. Missed the sh Oh, man. <laughs> All right, LeBron, you got to stay with us. I got more questions for you on some play calling tips because I don't know what I'm doing over oh. here. I need some help. <laughs> I'm right <laughs> I'm right here. Close. Well, hey, Pay, let's take a look here uh, on the tablet here to see what happened. So, you know, he, he, just like you said, the DB digs does a good job. He kind of sees three-step, right? He's looking back at the quarterback right here. He's looking. His eyes are there. He sees three-step in this drive. I think he, they could still get this completion. Again, the receiver falls down. Ball about him in a little bit behind him. But when the receiver falls, he just, he's not in the way. He's, not, he's nowhere near, you know, kind of to make a play on the ball. And that's, that's, that's history. Easy touchdown for the, for the Cowboys. Why All right, Chris. Second down. Second down. I'm going to wait till third down. Let you analyze. Let you just kind of call it play by play. You can't talk about the ball carrier, the quarterback. You know, it's got to be all O line and D line play. We'll wait till a third down here, just in case they run a little draw here on second down. I don't want to. I don't want to short you your opportunity here. Why do you assume it's going to be third down after? Because because oh, the Eagles have had it's, nothing but third downs all night. It's third and, right, and third manageable. One. Here we go. Third and one, yeah. Take it away. Third and <laughs> As one. As they showed uh, Dak Prescott, the quarterback. 
third. <laughs> so we got third and one here. It is 41 to 14. I'm buckling my chin strap. No, nope, we're good. Uh, I'm late. They're getting they quick it off. Snap it. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. When you when you go third and one and you quick snap like that, guys aren't ready. I mean, they're not even down in their stance. So I love the tempo variation. I know this is kind of pointless, but you do get something out of this. I mean, they went tempo at the end of the San Francisco game, and that helped them on one drive. They went tempo here. I saw y'all talking about that. And uh, I think that's good for Jalen. You got to slow down a defense with this much speed, you know, especially at the second level.